Uh, Kirby's Inside Story will have a little more time to play around with their counter picks and their stage selection. Um, and they've also been ripping through right now, uh, building up that synergy as they go. So, uh, sitting down right now is E2G. How's it going? Pretty good. Pretty happy with, I mean, fifth at this tournament. Gonna see Bomb the Witch, Dane Reich, and Steve. Bomb, I didn't know their team name. It's Bomb the Witch. Bomb the Witch, <laughs> I guess. Bomb the Witch, Kirby's Inside Story. Now, did these two teams play in winner? They did, yep. Uh, yeah, I was, I was just saying Bomb the Witch did take it in uh, game three. So, oh, okay. Yeah, it was a best of three. They took it. Yeah, it was last hit, last stock. Absolutely on, um, on Lilac, game three. So, But we did see the twins switch to Luigi. And, um, Luigi Pit for the game three. They are starting out with the with the Bowser Kirby. I think. Well, those are like their singles players. I think this team is like their this is their double team. This yeah. is what's carried them so far into brackets. Yep. Well, they think they still have so many conversions with the uh, Luigi Pit team. The conversions just don't kill as early. They do a lot of like Luigi throw into Pit up air into Luigi Cyclone, but yeah, they got to be a pretty high percent for that to kill. Whereas you know, they'll kill you at 60 if you're. Uh, Caught in the wrong situation. Meanwhile, Steven, Steven Stark and, D and Dan, when they like both of them in the air, it actually isn't. Whoa! Holy buckets! Uh, uh, <laughs> well, again? All right. Okay. I mean, what are you gonna do to contest that? Uh, it's you don't. You respect it. Because <laughs> <laughs> like Bowser's gonna act immediately after yep. too. As I was saying, like landing on versus this team, are they gonna get killed? Is super difficult against the uh, blue team. Yeah, against yeah. blue team. And then also when they even when they're falling, like they cover each other really well when they're both in the right. air too. So it's just kind of a challenge, and it's gonna be. I think it's gonna depend on how well these team kills go on. But wow, and Danreg actually losing his stock uh, to that Bowser throw. Yeah, it's like last resort stuff for Bowser. It gets yeah. an up air, finally dies. No more of that rage that would probably kill Bayonetta with a Koopa at that point. Oh no! Oh, oh, in the, oh, in the back air, Instarar back air. Ooh. Oh, that's like one of the coolest, like the only one of Bowser's throw things that's actually like really cool. <laughs> yeah. It just looks. It, 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 it looks rad. I will give it that. All right, and really smart. Um, that up the out of shield from Lucky, a really good option against a character like Toon Link, who is gonna have a lot of projectiles to throw at you. Sometimes you just gotta beat it out. Yeah, if he's there, it's just gonna it's gonna cover him up and. Steven Shark was busy with Kirby, so right. no, no problem is going to be there. Oh, there's a oh yeah. We'll get uh, not take the Bowser stock with that forward smash. 90%. 90% Toon Link died from a Kirby up smash. That is crazy. And I think people will be sleeping on the amount of power that uh, Kirby has. All of his smash attacks are actually really strong. Like, yeah. you think he's a puffball. There's no muscle in there, right. but honestly, hidden under all that, all that squishiness. Hidden under those shoes are some giant man feet. Yeah, and apparently a few bricks is still on his second stock. Kind of stock thinking for the team here. Steven Sharks on his last legs here. Yeah. Yeah, he is uh he is ready to die from anything Bowser throws out. Oh, what? Oh. And Dean Reich is the one who loses the stock first from the Bowser bomb. Oh man. Good really good edge cancel there. And I feel like it's happened twice now that Dane's done a really like a option that's relatively laggy compared to like I guess it, it's going to be laggy enough for a Kirby Day to grab, right? But it's killed him twice now, and Green Team wins Game One in a hilariously, but pretty good style. Yeah, I, I would say. Like all the stuff they did to get those kills was like the optimal thing. It was it was goofy, but it was still optimal. Yeah, it's goofy because it's these characters. Like, <laughs> right. Why are a Kirby and a Bowser on the screen? Right. Like what? And like say all you want about how you know cheesy or corny the. Uh, you know, second Bowser up and spin him out is, but mm -hmm. it's it is a good strategy. Um, we have yet to see a team, you know, really have hard punishes on it or anything great that they can do to, to yeah. counter it. Bowser so. can like instantly go into a hitbox. I or wonder air dodge. what would happen if uh, it's because if Steven Shark witch times it. Now does it does it count as that it's Kirby's projectile? I actually don't know that interaction because even if it counts as a projectile. Like it he would might, have to be, be close out of range. Yeah, 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 he'd be out of range. So, so I wonder, but the thing is, Bowser's kind of in the attack. Maybe it'll. I don't know. I kind of want to see don't, it. I don't. I I also want to see it, but I don't. Hey guys, can you <laughs> just real quick? Yeah, just. No. Um, hey, you know, if, it, if it happens, it happens. But 
you know, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it's something that has, you know, crossed their mind really. So that'll definitely be something that, you know, if if we don't see it happen, I'm gonna just have to get a couple friends and lab it out quick. <laughs> this is One of those interactions that you're hardly ever gonna see. Um, you know, obviously you won't see it in singles, but uh, Battlefield is a choice. Not as many ways to run away, but we got extra platforms for yep. bayonetta things, for Tomb Link traps. So we'll see if it'll show up. Whoa, Bayonetta was in that hit stun right on that throw. It's unfortunate Lucky wasn't in the area to get there. Dane needs to make his way in here. Yeah, and I think we have seen Steven Clark dying soon because Dane has been trying to play that campy game. But in the end, you do need... There it is. Yeah, yeah there we go. Unfortunately, I'm not able to uh, make that first smash connect, or up smash connect, but Bowser can, like, instantly shield. Yeah. Yeah, it is a really safe throw to throw at doubles. Also, with the uh, with the hitbox to boot. Okay. Oh, all right. I thought that saved him for a moment. Though. I almost thought Steven was amazing. Oh, nice witch time and punish And the bomb up here in the witch time. Beautiful. So that forward smash, all of a sudden, once again, we're at advantage uh, green. Again, we're seeing high committal options. Or at least not high committal, per se, but they're lagging enough that, hey, I got to punish. I'm right. going to just die for an instantly. Both and Lucky are always near each other. They want to be near each other. They're going to protect each other, get the kills where they can. Yeah, and Gain once again went for the uh, up smash after, after the Bowser up throw. I think he's going to need to find something different to try to contest that with. You know, I wonder if Toon Link has a throw that can make him make it so that he can like almost instantly shield after it happens. So we've seen him get punished for down throw multiple times. Right. I know there's a collateral hitbox, right? But it's not seeming to work very well. Yeah, because yeah, right there, able to get grabbed. Oh, dangerous game up there. Oh, oh. All right, and Koopa Claw, very good DI from Dane. Not. Oh. Yeah. And uh, right now they're just really wanting to uh, get this run back from the winners bracket. Showing no mercy, conversions left and right. They are angry. Oh, there goes. Oh no, not his stock. Battlefield's height helping despite the height of the platform. Oh, and really smart bullet arts from Steven Shark uh, breaking up. I think that may be the answer to the uh, Kirby sucking up Bowser. Yeah, because Kirby gets a little bigger because of oh, Bowser, so he's gonna hit that. Right. Save Dane's life for sure. Oh, match attacks coming out every which way. Uh-oh. Oh, they all don't get all of the dare. That's no. Uh, regardless, they did end up with some good damage. Bowser did still land the, uh, the up smash. Which is oh. Kirby living. Still, though, Bowser has another stock. 120 is not that much for Bowser. Yeah, and that, on uh, even on not the highest platform, will do it. And Steven Shark has to hold on to this stock here. If Blue Team can get him to 2v1, they have a good chance to take this game. It's a good thing it's a Bayonetta with the, st with the stock, though. Because Bayonetta, between Witch Time, Oliver jumps, Oliver escapes. Yep. She's going to be hard to catch, especially if it's the one with the higher percent. Right. Oh, okay. They really, they're really countering out here. They're trying to get the strategy, but Bullets prevents it almost every yeah. single time. Good, ad good adaptation instantly for one game. There's the stock. There it is. And now we got Kirby. Yeah, at 136. Not going to have a lot to do. Uh, lucky see. in a really bad position here. He is just what you want to see a big punching bag, yeah. It's like as soon as that person dies, you kill the partner real fast. Now, it's hard for Bowser because his kill setups right now will take too long. Dan's going to interrupt it on Steven Shark. Right. Yeah, even if he's able to get one of them up to a high enough percent for Koopa Claw, um, yeah, either they'll be able to come in with a hitbox to interrupt it, or um, yeah, we already have Bowser at 94%. It's a little different if he runs under the Super Claw. Yeah, and that which time. Oh, oh, yeah. oh all right. Yeah. <laughs> I was expecting the up smash. Instead, we get the forward smash from Dane on the platform to even up the set. He was close enough to the like he was close enough to the side that S smash has a better choice. He's not gonna fall out because right. yep. um, he's in which time. Yep. He's not gonna move anywhere. Now, are we gonna see the switch off, or are they gonna keep to it? As like this is the problem when you play multiple characters. You don't know like when you're just like, is it a character thing? Is it how we're? Is it just these characters aren't working against? Yeah, this are team? they getting the download? There's there's so many things that factor into it. Yeah. Um, how do you really decide? I don't know. I think 
I think as of right now, I like this team composition. They are getting early kills. Um, just a little bit of execution that um, the blue team pulled off better than the than the green team last round. So yeah, I know Loth and Lucky have a tendency to just switch like they're doing right now. They will they've opted in to switch more so than uh, stay. Right. But I mean that's that's the choice. Yep. Let's see how this does. They do have an extra game, so this is their chance to switch. Yep. They can lose even if they lose, they still got another chance on yep. the other team. Oh no. Yeah, and see their their combos are still there. They're just like I said, the uh, the conversions aren't gonna always be the death. A little stronger neutral, a little worse punish. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I think with this team, they're probably going to live longer because... Oh. I'm, I like the option. That's a lot of percent. He wasn't punished for it. Right. So it, it's still good. Oh. Uh, Dane going for a grab off of the grab. He just wants to trade Bayonetta and Chains. Okay. Lucky in trouble for the spot, but... Good save Ooh, really good team. back air coming in from low. Yeah, and right now he needs to focus on. You don't want to. You don't want to go off the bayonetta off stage. And really good punish coming in from Lucky with the short Yukon. Waited just enough time. Help shield against that collateral hitbox. Yep. Gets the free up the off of it. Oh, and Lucky okay. shield looking uh, like it's not gonna take another two course match. He's got to be careful. Now, Green team's kind of had center for a long while now. Right. As soon as I say that, blue team gets it. Same time, both off stage. Yeah, and yet again another bomb up air conversion. You do have to look out when Dana is below you and has a bomb. That is when he's looking for his kill setup. It's scary because he throws the bomb where you're drifting and then covers the area where you're like where you want you'll probably move or air dodge to. Not enough time in the witch time. It's a little stale. Yeah. Oh, I like the choice by Steven Shark to go for the spike. Still. Yeah, really good stuff coming in. This pit is kind of getting up in everyone's business right now. He's kind of crossing up with all of his aerials, getting jump overs, getting, making them in yep. shield. Yeah, really good uh, F-Kill out of shield there, too. Going to be a great option for pit, as it does have a lot of range, along with that uh, that up smash. Against two characters that are um, tuned like normally has a hard time landing, Bayonetta Sort of. It depends on how patient you are. So Pit is one of the characters that's just going to be like, oh, you're in the air? Let me cover almost everything. And up smash is ridiculously scary. Oh, all right. And uh, we got the stage fight coming in. Oh! oh. <laughs> all right. Nah. The downbeat of the witch art, or uh, the bullet art. Not today. You're not getting this oh. in, Jill. Yeah, oh. but uh, Luigi, lucky. unfortunately, yeah, I think without a jump there. The wave. We, we say that's a problem, but Loaf is sitting at a three stock. Two stocks. All right. Dane will get that back throw. Two takes the stock. Bayonetta's playing uh, as as patient as possible. As safe as possible. Ooh. Oh, falls out of the up smash. You get hit by the other. How does Lucky know to cover that? Yeah, right? You don't, like, you don't up smash this pit expecting them to fall out. It just happens. But Lucky's just like, oh, he might oh, fall just, out. Just in case he falls out, I got you. Uh-oh. We're going Lucky way up to the top. Oh, yeah, Lucky was trying to get up there to interrupt with some Cyclone. Still, this neutral, the better neutral game is really paying off here. They're getting the they're getting punishes just by multiple hits versus like a single combo. Right. And that's like equalizing how they played before. Right. Ooh. Well, it still has two socks. Oh Dane, I didn't even know this. Dane has two socks as well. Yeah. High percent, but Steven Shark is close to dying. Well, and that's the thing. Oh, all right. Really saw a back air coming out from him. Problem is, Steven Shark's the one who's a problem at this point. Yeah. Shares the stock. It's basically even. It is even. It's about as even as you can get it. All right. Wolf will go for the stage positioning. Doesn't want to do anything that's going to get him into trouble. Yeah, just going to probably anytime. Oop. Here's the thing is, I think Pit's going to have a little more impact when the other two are going at it. Just because those, hit, those arrows are really maneuverable. Right. Now, Lucky's going in, doing all, all he can. 
Oh no. Oh, and the wish time. Steven Shark. Yeah, okay. He missed it, but got to that smash eventually. Oh, this is super doable, but can't get wish time. Can't get bombed. Bayonetta. Yeah, and not Stellar Guy. All right. Steven Shark has coming. Oh, all right. All right. Rematch of the Arcadian Grand Finals. Let's go. I'm here for it. All right, get solid bomb to back air. Can he commit middle option like that? If right, it's going to be closer. big trouble for Dane. Sure, sure you can. Yep. That's what he's got to watch out for. Oh, oh he oh, misses and it. He, he misses the spike box. Oh, and really good. I like the option because that was the one spot he's not going to get punished for it. Going. Dane does pick an uh, instant option as to not get left drawn. Yeah, he's got to be really careful with these grabs. Obviously, a grab will take it, but... Oh, Whoa! Okay. And reading that rollback. Good yeah. early up He yeah. had to up the early yeah, there. As soon as he, rea he reacted to going off. Back throws from either of them. And the down smash. Oh, one too many grabs coming out from Dane Wright. Bang, bang. That was, that Kirby's, was, uh, in, <laughs> Kirby's inside story will take game number three. One away from sending Bomb the Witch home. Still um, though, it, it wasn't it wasn't convincing. No, <laughs> it, was, it, <laughs> it not definitely convinc wasn't convincing. <laughs> Whichever team won that, that was not a convincing <laughs> win. Like I'm, I say that more so for them because they did the switch, so they could they still have the Bowser Kirby in their they still have that in their pockets. It's waiting to be used again. Right. Bomb Bomb the Witch just has to. They have to. Well, one Steven Shark Steven Shark basically lost. Oh, like a little shot, but Steven Shark lost the game. He SD right yes. at the end. No yep. no pressure. He just kind of. He dabbed down, and he, he died for it. So, yeah, Dan's you're, you're playing one of the the characters with one of the best recoveries in the game. You got to stay on stage. Yeah. Beat him on. You don't have to go off stage. You don't have to go deep when you have the two v one situation. Oh, are we seeing Kirby Bowser again, or will the third? Kirby yes. Yep. What stage? I are think they maybe going a to? lot of it had to do with the stage pick. I think if they're going to go somewhere town, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 makes sense. Yep. You'll get. Oh, oh smash it. Okay. One, go. Uh, Steven Shark just gonna dance. <laughs> <laughs> no dancing for you. None. <laughs> oh, okay. No dancing. Just no, dan no. Get out of here. Put it with that time. He's, he likes wants to go to the club later. He's got to practice, and it's like, oh, I don't. Nope. Just up smash it. Nope. Not here. Not here. This is neither the time nor the place. We got kids around. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Smashville is the pick. Smashville is the pick, which I do like better than Town and City. Just knowing that this Kirby and Bowser team does have very viable kill options off the top. Yes. So. Twenty-one percent that fast. Did you see that little jab? The little jab during Kirby down throw. <laughs> it's a hit the it's a bayonetta. <laughs> oh, that was cute. Alright. Yeah, that break. down ooh, alright. Actually won't get punished for that down here. Now yeah, after the grab and yeah, not quite gonna do it. Good. Okay, okay. there it is. There so it is. No there one gets much right. time. Yep. No one at all. All right. Well, now I know. Now I can rest easy at night. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm Knowing glad that there is it. a counter. Oh, oh what? Ooh, the Ooh. ultimate read on the edge get up from Dane Wright. Man, it's not like Dane rolls a lot from edge either. No. I think it was just one of the things where it's just like kind of a momentary lapse of judgment. It's like and I then Lof it. Lof was keyed in for it. Like I feel the roll coming. Yep. He just hard. Oh, hey, he rolled. That's a dead Mayo now. Yeah. Down stocks. It's hard to kill Bowser. This is looking rough for the blue team. Ooh, Ooh yeah, Bomb that down there. Bomb there is pretty. That's different. I feel like Steven was ready for it. There goes Bowser. Dane right, yeah, catching this tech off the platform with the uh, with the forward there. Yeah. 
the good thing for blue team right now is they're not letting the team combos happen. Right. They're not letting Loaf and Lucky really stay, get near each other or stay near each other. And that's definitely what they need to do. They're a high synergy team. Uh oh. There they come. <laughs> they both they come. They just get out of there. We don't want to deal with this. Bowser will get taken up to the top. You will not see a stock in um, Wow. Nice cross stage conversion. Good to know. Good to watch. You know Dane's watching now. Yeah. And that back here. What? Ooh, what? I do not think that was optimal DI. I think, yeah. I think he was ready for up air DI. Yeah. He wasn't ready for back air DI. Wow, the back, th the back throw into that about boomerang just to just to say no. I don't want to deal with it. Here, take your partner instead. Dane's doing a good job taking hold on to this stock, but. Steven Shark has already racked up 73% damage on his. Steven Shark already dies to a grab soon. Yep. Invincible shell. Yeah, and the fourth throw from Bowser will do it. This will be a moment of truth for Dane. Does he stay aggressive? Oh, Whoa. and the up air! He was just there. He knew. And, okay, it, it's over. Oh, oh, going for a re-grab. I like it. Once these two get this 2v1, once one of them grabs you. That's it. There it is. Yeah, oh, they that'll be a lot of good damage. They don't want to continue it. Because they can do like footstool, re-grab, it's ridiculous. Dane has to work so hard. I had really good using the hitbox on four throw. Okay, that's a good throw with collateral and a uh, yeah. shield fairly quickly. Yeah. I mean, obviously, the... Uh, the move that you want to punish it with was Bowser Force Smash. And Not yet. accidentally gets uh, trumped himself, but we'll get down tilted on the roll in. And that will be the end of the set. Loaf and Lucky. <laughs> the, 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 the crowd liking what they saw. A, a very entertaining set, giving a little bit of applause. Minnesota Minnesota loves Loaf and Lucky. Like, yeah, those, I, those two kids. It's really here. hard not to cheer for them. It's they're, it they're, is. They're, for one, their attitudes are always great. And then, you know, good. just they're young. <laughs> um, they, you know, they have so much potential in front of them. Um, it's just really great stuff to watch. All right, I will be hopping off. We do have 